what is up guys welcome back to another video had a huge snowstorm that's always fun it was great to watch put me to sleep i was very happy but today we're talking about ba and i'm gonna guess it's named said like ba i don't really know how to say its name it's like like ba yeah i don't know should we just should we just like try to see if that's its actual name or not uh because that would be pretty interesting so i'm gonna set the default here and we're gonna we're gonna just um Go to Google, eh. and how we do this? Translate. Okay. Um, is this how it works? You just what? Eh. What? Owner avatar. Why? Ah, darn it. There we go. What? Why does it say bark? Uh, let's swap. So, hopefully, we know. What? Why? No. Gosh darn it, Google, stop being you. Thank you. Bow. Bow. It's bow. Okay, we're going to call it bow for now. So, Bow's a pretty cool app. What this thing does, in a nutshell, is it installs app images to your system. It can also handle updating and a whole bunch of other stuff. So, graphical user interface for managing your Linux application support, at images, Debian, and Arch packages, including AUR, Flatpak, Snaps, and native web applications. Oh, now I have it installed on Nobora, like the, like the, gosh darn it, where are you? I just basically pipped installed it so method two and if we go in here and i just type ah uh, ah uh, it it opens up like that see and that's great and there's pcsx2 obs studio this is my own custom version uh extension manager dat gordon cider this is how i update cider and it's unknown because it comes from an unknown source yeah but if you click here, you can update the database, full update, install web application, clean installation environment, backups, restores, and install app image file. That's the one I like the most because it installs it system wide. It makes it so I can actually pin things, as you can see here. See, I can pin things. And it allows me to just update things from here, which is really, really nice. And I, I do enjoy that. What does this do? Some suggestions. Choose a theme. Night. Oh my goodness, we're gonna go with Dracula. I hate Dracula, but it's better than the night theme. Uh, let's go through the settings real quick. App images, so we're not on Arch. We can't select that. Flatpaks, I'm gonna ask him to add RPMs uh, because that would be pretty great. Interface, uh, HDPI, auto scale, yes. Download icons, yes. System theme, no. Style, is that a fusion tray? Update icon, interval, same thing, you can select things. Multi-threaded download, yes please. Um, certificate check, there's a whole bunch of cool stuff. There's your backup options, your app image options, flat pack options. I swear to God, if you're using snaps, dude, not okay. Yeah, so it's got a lot of options. All right, there, I have to use the actual close button. Uh, you can, of course, add this to the desktop, uh, an auto tray icon or whatever to configure to auto start if you want. And yeah, I don't know how to do that. I don't really want to do that, but I would like to make it so we could just execute this as a desktop application. So I'm going to copy this and we're going to attempt this live on video. Uh, that was cheesy as hell. We're not going into bin. Actually, it's in here in bin, I believe. Maybe. Is it? No, it's not. It's not in here. Oh, well. So, we're going to go to applications. We're going to make it to document text file. We're going to rename this. The bar dot desktop. And we're going to open that up with gedit. We're going to paste this in here. 
So we're going to just type blah. And no, it's not going to be tray. Um, I believe we can set an icon, but I'm not sure. But I'm just going to save this here and hopefully it makes it pop up. Okay, so we're going to close down Ba, and I'm going to open Ba. It works. So now we need to go steal the icon. Uh, where did I put Firefox? There it is. Please tell me you have your icon somewhere. It's like this little treasure trail thing, right? It has the weirdest icon. I swear that it does. Um, set up config. Maybe it's in here. Uh, SVG. Logo. SVG. Save image as. We're going to bring this into here. Control H. I know I'm probably going overboard with this, but I need to do this because it's starting to bug me to have to start it up automatically like this. And we're just going to hit save. Great. Once we hit save, if you want to know how to apply an icon, uh, which I actually don't, we're going to learn from... Oh, these are all wine extensions. All right, we're going to learn from Steam, uh, from this one right here. So icon. Icon equals then location name of icon. So put that there. And the icon is logo dot SVG. Save. And that should update it, hopefully. Yeah, -ha! there's the icon. Look at that. But did it reset in here? It didn't. You probably have to log out and log back in to get that to happen. But if we search Bob here. No. Yeah, all right. Fine. Fine. You want to do this? We're going to do this. So. Copy location. Go back in here. Paste location. Nope. Wrong one. And done. Hit save. Close that out. Yeah, yeah. We're going to definitely need uh, to wait for it to update. But it updated right there, which is all that matters. So it does work. All right. So now that we have that there, um, it's easy to access. And we can't pin it still. But we technically can pin it if we went in here and pinned. See that? So uh, we're going to put that there. I'm going to quit. And I'm going to open it from there. And it will, it will open up another separate application but at least you guys have your own little desktop icon and everything like that so you guys can get things done and easily open things up you know this app is incredibly useful we can hit refresh and you can see if there's a uh, an update it will probably show that there's an update if there's not there's extra options upgrade file downgrade there's a history wow look at that it's the last couple of versions. There's a history here too. I believe. Yep, yeah, look at that. Oh, right. Well, this thing is just packed with stuff, isn't it? Uh, is there a history with this? There shouldn't be. No, internet connection is required. So there's no history with that. But there is a history with this. So if you have a bug with the old one, I guess you could probably just go back to an older version without screwing up any of your files. Probably not going to work though. Because it's going to take too much time. Yeah, so as you can see, it does make its own BA app image cider desktop thingy going on, which is kind of cool. Hey, it did. Wow. Holy crap. That goes, that goes really far back. It's a lot of versions. How did it do this one? Look at that. And there's the logo where it installed everything. Yeah. We could technically replace the logo with the with, with its real logo, which is uh, supposed to be this purple one here. Uh, so, local, air, uh, app image installed, cider. Yeah, so it pulled that one out, but that's the real one right there. Hmm. I wonder if we can grab the real one. Let's see. Cider, do logo no there's no way I'm finding that original logo I did make a better logo once though I wonder if I still have access to that logo 
Where am I? There I am. All right, I'm gonna try to find it real quick. Anyway, I couldn't figure it out. This is a really, really cool application. You guys can download it in uh, the description below, or you can just, you know, tip three and install it. Just like it says, I'll just link the GitHub and you guys can install it from there and do whatever you need to do. But this application, honestly, if it was given more work, could end up being a package manager, package manager that is just universally for every distro, which would be really cool. Anyway, thank you for watching. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and share the video, and I'll see you guys next time. Tell me what you think of the application in the comments. Bye-bye.